While America has moved forward in many ways since the days of slavery and Jim Crow, in other ways, as a nation, we are slipping backwards. Like mass incarceration, racial disparity in criminal sentencing, lost voting rights, outright voter suppression, the police brutality often focused on black populations, display legacies of the emotional dehumanization of black people that was at the core of slavery. Employment and housing discrimination, unequal access to e to a quality education in undeserved commun underserved communities, environmental injustice within black communities, and higher rates of poverty still plague communities of color and represent prejudice that has a severe economic consequences moreover the gap in earning potential between blacks and whites is a left over uh, a profound economic injustice that has never been fully addressed in any way many ways continue to exist the race-based policies alone are helpful but only a temporary basis that is because while they address the external symptoms of racial prejudice, they carry no moral weight and therefore have no fundamental transformative power. Of, them, of themselves, they can leave open the question of those, for, those of, I mean, I'm sorry, of themselves they can open the question of whose fault it is that the economic gap actually exists. The main power of a reparations plan is that it carries a moral weight that goes beyond the mere economic restitution. This is because it implies an inherent me culpa, which the acknowledgement on the part of one people of a wrong that has been done, a debt that is owed, and a willingness to repay it. Reparations are not financial assistance. They are a payment of a debt that has never been paid. They thus pave the way for an emotional and psychological healing between blacks and whites, much needed in these United States. I propose a reparations amount of 200 to 500 billion this payment is made over a period of 20 years to a reparations council made up of black leaders from across the, a spectrum of American academic, cultural, and political leaders. The council will be made up of 30 to 50 members, all descendants of slaves with some scholarly, cultural, and political connection to the issue of reparations. It will be for this council for the American government, it would be for this council, not the American government, to determine how the money is to be dispersed. The only stipulation on the part of the American government is the is the following is the following that the money be applied for purposes of economic and educational renewal. The reparations plan will not erase the history of slavery in America, nor its ugly aftermath. It is only one part of a dimensional, multi-dimensional healing process. But it will go far towards ending a painful, horrific chapter in our American history. And it will give future generations of Americans a chance to begin again on a higher ground of true reconciliation. I like that, y'all. I like it a lot. And those are the words of Marianne Williamson. Marianne Williamson is the only candidate that's keeping this conversation on the table. I know it's not going to happen in my lifetime. I know it. And it's important that we as descendants of slaves know that it's going to be just like any other struggle that we've been involved in. We have to be one single-minded focus and be willing to die for that for that cause 
we can no longer um, put ourselves in a position where people are defining us, calling us African Americans. When now Africans from South Africa that are white are coming over to here and all of us are lumped into the same group. You got Africans that are coming over from Nigeria or the Congo or Ghana and they're African Americans. And my ancestors, those of us who built this country, the ones I can still hear in the cellular memory of my soul, crying out from the holes of those slave ships. We got nothing. Everybody. And you want to lump us in with everybody? That to me is the biggest travesty that we could ever allow to happen to us. Because if we keep on the way they're going now, they're trying to exterminate us. You can see it. This is the same blueprint that was used over in Germany. First devalue, minimize, blatantly disrespect, and normalize killing a group. And that way, it makes it much easier when you want to just mow them all down. So we have some real strong collective uh, thoughts that we got to get one accord on because nobody, nobody has a spiritual nuance like the original man. And I contend that. And so we're going to have to use, that's what I mean by using our magic. It's going to have to be used to a, the point where we understand how important this is. Because if we don't make moves now, we're going to be economically uh, bankrupt. Worse than we are now. We're not going to have anybody on any of these courts and any Supreme Court justices, any circuit court justices anywhere that even want to hear any more civil rights cases. And Donald Trump is seeing to that. Now either we're going to have to have a land base of our own and some money to go with it that is owed to us, again, that is not charity and not assistance. It is a debt that needs to be paid. And I'm going to do everything in my lifetime to make sure that the generations that I'm bringing up behind me are aware that America owes a debt and she got your money she got your grandmama's money your great grandmama's money your great great grandmama's assets your great 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 grandmama's assets and you come to collect when they always talk about due time what well, time is due and with that being said I'm gonna go and give my grandbaby a fruit snack. You wanna say hi to the people? Yeah. Say it. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You know, Donald Trump didn't turn out to be such a good uh, uh, candidate. I don't know why you even voted for him. You're not gonna vote for him no more, are you? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. You 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 gonna stop saying Donald don't gonna stop voting for Donald Trump? Cause I'm not saying that. You didn't. No. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. All right. You all right? Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And we love you, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.